The views and opinions expressed by presenters and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of Parasearch UK Radio or its affiliates and sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Hello, Harry Price here. Good evening. If there's nothing myself and everybody else enjoy here on the other side more is the sit back and relax and listen to Parasearch Radio with its paranormal news, views and reviews from across the UK and beyond. Make sure to find out more about them on Facebook, Twitter and the World Wide Web, whatever they are, to keep up to date with all their broadcasts throughout the week. And I hope you enjoy them as much as we do over here. Hello? Is anybody there? Good evening. Welcome to the Haunted Connection Show here on Parasearch Radio. Thanks for tuning in once again. As normal, my co-host is Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, everybody. How are you? Yeah, all good. Are you all nice good. and relaxed? Because you've I just am. done a meditation class, haven't you? I am, yeah. Well chilled. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's good. It's good I'm so to... chilled. I'm almost horizontal. <laughs> that's that's too chilled. So um, tonight's guest should have been Lee Rebecca, who is one of our presenters on the HAPRC live feeds. But unfortunately, um, Lee can't make it. She's she's been whisked off to a bonfire party. So we've got a replacement. Um, the replacement. I don't think he's ever been called a replacement before. <laughs> Our guest tonight is the one and only Paul Stevenson. Hi, Paul. Sloppy seconds. Sloppy <laughs> seconds. I tell you. Thank you I very knew. much. Good evening. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you'd make some comment there. You know what? If people tune in now think, and, and don't realise that Lee's not been cancelled, <laughs> just, just tune in and think, my God, she sounds a bit rough and common. <laughs> <Me. laughs> <laughs> Good evening, <laughs> Jay. Good evening, Neil. Hi, Paul. Okay, so if, if anyone who's listening doesn't know who Paul Stevenson is, he is um, a fifth of the Haunted Live team and the editor of the Haunted magazine. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah, That's so. Correct. Paranormal lover. Um, <laughs> yes, um, yeah, magazine, Haunted Live events and, and live streams. Yep. So, how's, how's the, the magazine going? Do it. You're going well. Obviously, issue 24 came out um, a couple of months back. Um, we're working on 25 now, which will be out before Crimbo. Um, as I was saying to somebody earlier on, that we, even though we've got a template for design and, and the writers are uh, a lot of the same writers, we start with a blank canvas, really, a new painting. Yeah. Um, we know what content we like, but sometimes there's something out there when we start that's not come out yet. So... We try and leave it as, as late as possible to put <laughs> stories and features in, so it's quite fresh. Um, if a story develops four or five days before we finish, then we can make sure that it goes in. So, yeah. So, yeah. is it is it always changing then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the templates the same, Andy's design, and everything, and and now taglines and that kind of the templates there. But and our writers know that they can send a feature anytime they want to write. Uh, and we'll store it and bank it. But we always like to keep, I'd say, at least a third, maybe a quarter of of pages free right into the last minute, just in case something pops up. And, we, you know, we've in the past, we've had no front cover until about two days before. But that's the way Andy and I work. Um, you know, it's, um, it's it, cuts, it cuts close sometimes, but it's it's worked so far, so there's no reason to, to change it, so to speak. But, yeah, we, we have obviously got... The thing about the thing about paranormal is you, you guys know it'll it'll the stories and the they'll never will never will never die out. No. You know we, we can pluck a story on off of Google or off of off of a writer and it will just people might not know about it and they're interested <coughs> and you can delve so so deep into records of hauntings and locations that you're going to always find something that's interesting whether it be ten years old or whether it be a hundred years old uh, that people would like to read. So. Yeah, there's a, there's always something to write about. Do, do you find that exciting though? You know, having a, a free page right to the oh, last. Yeah, page. I, prefer, I prefer it. I'm I'm a bit of a um, you know, and and he's more uh, set in his way, so to speak. But I'm more um, more of a daydreamer kind of yeah. <laughs> where where I like to I not like to leave it to the last minute, but I like to have that fresh 
uh, approach to it where we can fit something in, we can change something right at the last minute if we want to and if we need to. I mean, like the last issue we've got, um, is a is a sort of homage to that the ghost book that yep. we did the book launch two weeks back. Uh, and that before that, before that came out in August, in July, the book, uh, there was a, a petition to get the book out. That cover wasn't going to be that cover, but we changed it because of that book. So um, yeah. we're quite happy to be flexible. Yes. That's, that's, that's does, that, does that flexibility sort of take off a lot of the stress and, and grief of sort of collating it all? Yeah, I mean, yeah, to be fair, Jane, a lot of the writers, like yourself, um, they write it and, yeah, my job is to edit it, but, it, it, you know, it's not so much editing, it's more reading it and see if it fits and 99% of the times the writers know the magazine style anyway so they know what to write about mm. you know we've got morgan uh, nudson from <clears throat> Canada, who's quite a serious investigator but she writes it in a in a way that is entertaining so somebody who is not so serious gets it because the magazine is not it's not just it's not for scientists it's not for so-called experts is for everybody who loves the paranormal as it should be yeah um and it's, it's, and morgan writes in a way that she she comes across as being a serious investigator but she also has that knack of of just getting the ability to put the words together um and, and it, it reads perfectly and my job then is to and his job to design and my job is to come up with a, a sort of like a tagline to suck people in to read the feature yeah, yeah. So you, yeah. you you sort of get the the heading, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can have the best um, writing writing in the world, but if you don't engage the audience enough to to read it, then they'll just flip over and, and read something else. Um, yeah. Do Do you find your magazine is read by all walks? You know, every every everybody. I hope so. Uh, lovers, haters, everyone. I'm sure. Um, uh, yeah, it is. That's, we've got people who are teenagers, um, we have comments from teenagers who love it, um, you know, people uh, in the 20s and 30s. Um, I would say that it's probably uh, UK and America are the biggest um, in terms of percentage people who read it. Um, I think we did some stats uh, at the start of the year, and it, it, the majority was women over 35. Um, uh, quite a high percentage, which is fine. You know, it's um, we want to get more men to read it, but you know, it's um, it's the paranormal, and uh, I think more women are involved in the paranormal. Um, truth be told, um, but now, what like Jane writes for us, we've, we've got Nikki Allen, a medium. So the the features aren't all just let's have a laugh, let's have a fun at the paranormal. They are quite some serious features. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. I'm glad I'm talking to you tonight, actually, because it, it's going to give me that kick up the backside and yes. the article. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I'm the same. Sometimes you think, right, we'll start on this day, we'll start on this day, but we've been so busy with Halloween and, and the book launch that sometimes it gets put back and Andy's waiting for features and that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, everything. But yes, please. Um, yeah, well, I'd love you to uh, send some stuff. And the beauty of it is because it's quarterly, we're not chasing people every month. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to go monthly, but the the costs and the and um, because we both work full time, it's it, it's just proves too much sometimes. So yeah. I think quarterly quarterly is the right amount of of time. Um, if it might become bi monthly um, next year, something we're thinking of, um, you know, we, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But it's going well. The, you know, this issue twenty four was the best the best one before the last one. Um, we always say that the issue gets better and yeah we are biased but it does i mean andy and i both wouldn't do it if we didn't love doing it it's not yeah. something we just think oh we'll best get we best knock another one out that kind of thing uh, mm-hmm. we just generally enjoy doing it and putting it together and um you know if it gets read by one person then then, then that's enough for us yeah i've got a comment from paul rock he said i read it i have a yearly subscription looking forward to the next one he does yeah thank you paul um, yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, and then the next point we we did a live feed last night, and we were talking about the Higgy Pop Paranormal Awards. Oh yes, yes. Um, I know your magazine actually won that category last year, didn't it? We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we won the category last year. Thank you for everybody who uh, voted for us. 
And you're, you're in the nominations for the category, category again? Yeah, we're in, actually, it's, it's the same three magazines, 14 times, which is a cracky magazine, and, and, and uh, Paranormal Hauntings, which is uh, written by, uh, edited by Charlene, who, who we know very well. Um, yeah. Three good magazines, um, and to, to have a to have a nomination is good enough. Um, to win is great, um, but uh, you know we always say that you know it, you know it's nice to have a, a category that that um, bigs up magazines because there are not many out there, um, but there are some out there <laughs> as well. So it's um, it's good, and you know if we win, we win. If we don't, then uh, one of the other two will. So it's good that Iggy Pop decides to choose. A category that that we're in. I mean, we're in. I think Haunted Lives in one as well yeah. for best online team, um, which is nice, and also best evidence, which which is more of a furnace. So you know, well. it's it's, yeah. it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. And there's a lot of good people in a lot of good categories. Um, best hotspot. I think uh, there's one uh, the Haunted Centre, I believe. <laughs> I think I think we might have been nominated. And of course, <laughs> of course we have to mention. Um, in the podcast, oh Power yes, Power Search yes. Radio nominated as well. So. Yes, yes. I mean, so, you yes. know, what podcasts. You know, you know. I've been in the paranormal world. I loved it a long time, but in terms of business, the magazine's ten years old, and there was nothing like radio shows. Well, there was, but it was a lot of American, yeah, style. Uh, in the last two to three to four years, it's really kicked off. And uh, what do you think? That shows, is- sorry, sorry, Neil. Why do you think that is? Why do you think it's suddenly kicked off? With all people, these- are being, people are being a bit more, a bit, a bit clever and wanting to do something different. Mm-hmm. Um, you can get radio on your laptop now. You can get radio on on um, on smart speakers. So um, and people are people are, are listening in and want to want to find out about more things. And because again, Facebook and Twitter, you've got free marketing, so you've got the tools to share what you want to do. With Parasearch, um, you know, there's, there's, I think it's it, at its three third birthday a few weeks back, yeah, uh, um, and I think it's growing uh, each year on year on, uh, and I think some of the shows um, I've got some, I've had some cracking guests, you know, some guests, some big guests from the paranormal world, yeah. um, and and it's full of history and and mystery and and it's spiritual, so you know, I think there's something for everybody, and and I think. Hopefully, podcasts and, and radio shows and those those kind of things will just continue to grow. Hopefully, yeah, I agree. Do you do you think though it's it's a, a contest between different podcasts or some might think that, but uh, you know, and and you know, it's like it's like supermarkets. You know, I, you know, I, I shop at ASDA, but you know, I'm sure Tesco would want my business, but. Sometimes I'll, I'll pop into Tesco and buy something. I'm not solely rely. I'm sure there's people out there who don't uh, just listen to Parasearch. And oh, I'm not listening to that one because I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm affiliated with Parasearch. But you know, it's. I think if there's something to be listened to and it's out there and they've shared it and it's interest to you, whether it's Bigfoot, whether it's conspiracy theories, whether it's yeah. mediums, whether it's gadgets, then if you've got the time, I, I think you should listen to it. But also, because it's a podcast, you can also download it and listen to it at your leisure. So it's not a case of being having to sit at 8 o'clock in an evening and make sure you're there to to, uh, to listen to it. These shows are available 24-7. <clears throat> now, so. Yeah, I think that's the, the best part of it, because not mm-hmm. everyone is free on, a, on, a, on an evening between yeah. 10. No, most shows yeah. on the Parasearch Radio are 9 till 10. We, we just like to be awkward. And you are going to get... <laughs> listening aren't you if people can go back and listen to it yeah in their own time. yeah, yeah. And, and what you want is you want your, your presenters and your your guests to share the links too because the more people that share it That's it's right. going to spread because your their friends will know about it you know your, their family will want to listen if they've got time so it's just a matter of helping each other out and sharing things and you know hopefully growing all together and it's, it's a win-win situation to be fair i think so i think if, if your content's right people yeah. will listen yeah and yeah. um as I, I don't like taking things too seriously no no, no. It's, a like, it's a bit like you paul mind, haven't you with a lot of stuff you just got to keep an open mind look I, you know it's <clears throat> you know it's um to me the paranormal is is i love i love being involved in the paranormal i love the paranormal 
I take it with a pinch of salt sometimes. I watch TV shows. I take it with them with a pinch of salt sometimes. But I'm serious in what I when I ghost hunt. I'm I'm deadly serious. Uh, you know, yeah, we have a laugh. We have tell some jokes. We have we have some humorous fun times where we just laugh about laugh so much that you know we have some great times. But when we're calling out for spirits, we're respectful and we're uh, we really want something to happen. We don't want to. Uh, see a knife flying past us or a spoon flying past us thrown by somebody we want we really want somebody to try and contact us to prove to us that there are, there is life out there yeah yeah definitely yeah so and I always say, I, sorry i always say that if i am a spirit if i am a ghost and i see a bunch of people having a laugh and then in the next room i see a bunch of people sat there waiting for something to happen i'd rather i'd rather go and interact with people who are having some fun just the odd mm-hmm well, that's, that's human nature, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Human nature is laughing to me. It is. It, you know, it's a, it's a defence mechanism, it's humour, it's it's just, you know, it's a way of engaging in conversation. It's just, you know, and it's 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 the way I've always been and, and the way the mag is and the way Wanted Live is. And, and But there are people out there who take it serious and, and that's their way. So, you know, I'm not, we can't knock them, but that, that is their way, so... So what are your thoughts on, on people, you know, the the um, the trolls? Oh, man, tell me about them, I'll tell you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they find time to do it. I'm, I'm sure they've got something. I don't know if they've got families or kids or, or whatever, but surely there's something in their life that's better than just hassling people <clears> on, <throat> on the Internet and creating fake profiles. And I'm sure there's something that i don't know whether it's wrong with them or well but they must have other things to do um why would you i i was i'm a big believer of if i don't want to watch it i won't watch it yeah. I, don't, I, don't, you know, I don't want if i don't want to talk to somebody i won't say anything to that person rather than something derogatory you know i just don't see the point yeah, but I, it's the I world know. we live in the internet is great but it's also bad um facebook and twitter are great but there's also some negative sides to it. Yeah, definitely. Because I know, I know when you do your haunted live Facebook feeds, mm-hmm. you, you get some trolls, don't you? Not many. No, not many. We get some. I mean, we get those who come on and say, "Oh, I've just seen a ghost." Oh, why am I watching this? Yeah, why are you watching it? Why have you logged onto our page? Why have you clicked onto our video? Why are you sat there watching, commenting if you don't believe? If you want to watch and don't believe but are interested, then by all means, watch. But if you want to watch, don't believe, and have some comment, then why bother? And, and, and to be fair, a lot of people who do watch do, do sort of round on that person. Yeah, they do. Say, yeah, and, and, and sort of like, rather than us, because we're too busy listening out for things or doing something on, on the show, um, people are sort of like saying, look, you know, if you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. If you don't want to be here, then just click that quick button you know it's 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 the way of the world neil we, we can't change people i'd like to think we can but you know it's uh i don't know the the beauty of the paranormal world we live in i, I should imagine it, it it's the same on every field though wouldn't it i know we focus on the on the paranormal but i imagine people do i don't know angling or something yeah i mean I, i've said that before because we're so heavily engrossed in this industry um we see the good and the bad but yeah. like say like like angling or churching or stamp collecting or i mean or, or or i'm sure this i'm sure there's rivals in that industry in that niche and i'm sure there's people in there who if, if somebody's done this and they've done something better or or <laughs> something, something they don't like it bless you whoever that was um somebody sneezed then or is that a ghost it is a cough all right <laughs> Um, and yeah, so it's, I think it's, I think you're right because we are so soaked in the paranormal, um, um, industry and the business and, and the sector that we see everything and we see the, a lot of the, the bad when it is bad. Yeah. And of course the haunted magazines is, is sort of become the place people can go to, isn't it? No, if they've got any questions in the, or queries or concerns in the paranormal, Mm-hmm. Do, do, do you do you sense that? I know, I know, I do. Sometimes, yeah. Do you, um, do you to... We get messages saying, uh, "X person said this," and I say, "Look, we, you know, we don't get we don't get involved in petty squabbles. That's no. between you and them. 
Yeah. What well, if somebody says to well, people think, as I said, I've said before on a show of yours, that people think we spin it, we spin a, a massive paranormal wheel. <clears throat> who, who can we pick on now? Which team can yeah. we pick on? But yeah. we don't. We get messages from people saying, um, "I've I've been on a ghost hunt. It got cancelled. I'm owed." 35 40 pounds yeah um i've tried um speaking to them they've blocked me on 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 fb and twitter and i can't get any answer is there anything you can do so yeah. we being a, a, a magazine and a public magazine yeah. think well you know what um let's let's do some investigation some digging because yeah. we don't people think well we just shout out about it on, on but we don't we do some digging first yeah find out if anyone else has been affected and then we contact the team in question, and sometimes, whether it's good or bad, the, the gravitas of the magazine makes them think, oh, my God, um, we are best try and sort this out. So people have been known to get their money back. Um, yeah. They may have got it back eventually without our involvement, but it just seemed that um, a few years back, there was a, a few companies who were robbing people blind. We're talking like £800, £1,000, £2,000, uh, yeah. And and for like four people who booked trips to Transylvania, that kind of thing, um, yeah. and and weren't getting no response from from the um, the owners of of the company. So we got involved and and the, the money got returned. I think most of it did. Um, and it's it's it's, it's good <clears throat> that I could have that effect. You know, people think that we get involved and we are we know us here, but we're not. We we get contacted. We never say right. Let's let's have a look at these people. What see what they're doing wrong. We've never done that. We've had messages from people, 40, 50, 60 people sometimes saying, can you please help us? We've tried We've we've tried all avenues. Um, you know, we, the police is the next step, which could take months and months and months. But is there anything you could do um, to have a friendly word with the people in question to see if – to see if um, and sometimes not all teams are bad. Sometimes teams have got a problem themselves. They've had mm-hmm. – and now they just haven't managed the money and it's not done on purpose. Uh, and, you know, and they're fretting as well and they're blocking people because yeah. they're getting nasty pictures all the time. Uh, so sometimes it, it can be just by talking uh, to those, those people, it, it can be resolved. And fingers crossed it doesn't happen very often. It does sometimes still. Yeah, but, you know, we, we, we'll help anybody. We will help anybody who's owed money. Uh, we're not afraid to 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 get in um, in touch, and sometimes people have have um, had a go at us for for getting involved. But you know, um, we can take it on the chin. I, I think it's really good that people do find that the magazine is a place they they can go and talk yeah. to. Yeah, and that you yeah, can, you can it is it is people. nice. You know, I mean, all we want to do is have some fun um, doing ghost hunts and lives and events and the magazine. But um, if, if the magazine helps people get money back, then we'll we'll continue to do that, and you know, be a kind of watchdog. We don't want to. One thing I don't want to do is police the paranormal. You mm. cannot police something that that might not exist. You can't right. legislate. You can't legislate it. Um, you know, and there's been talks um, many many years of the British the British Paranormal Association have tried to do something, yeah. but you just cannot do things like that. In, in my opinion, <clears throat> like people like they do disagree, but. In my opinion, it's it's a, it's a sector that you know you don't have to have this power unity thing. We could all work together. We don't, we don't have to be friends. We can have a, a good, honest, hardworking community where we yeah. can all help each other. And it, and and um, if something goes wrong, um, and that, then it, sh- it should be shared. It shouldn't shouldn't be afraid to share that information. Don't yeah. if it's if it's if it's fiction or if it's calling people names, then don't bother. Just that's right. You know, just sort that out yourself. But if it's someone who's generally owed money, uh, then if we, if we can help get that person thirty five, forty pound back, then then I, I consider that a win. That's good. So, you, do you, yeah. Do you, do you think those sort of cases have escalated over the last couple of years? I think they have over the last couple of years. I don't know many this year, to be fair, which is good. But I know, um, you know, over the last two or three years, there's been some pretty big ones, uh, pretty big ones who, who were, I think, um, were not doing anything and, and blocking people and owed thousands of pounds. There was, there's, there's two that I can think of, and uh, some have gone. One person had gone to America and took the money and and left left people in limbo. 
Uh, and there was at the time people weren't saying anything because they were they, they were threatened by yeah. the owner of the company, um, threatened threatened physically. And and I can imagine if you're getting nasty <clears throat> nasty messages, um, you know, and and everything, then it might put you off from from sharing. But I think yeah. a lot of people, a lot of teams are now wise. Uh, wising up to the fact that you know, hey, you can't threaten us. You know, if yeah. if if it's factual and there's evidence to suggest that something has been wrong done wrongly, then you know, no matter no matter what, whether they they say, oh, well, well, that's slander, that's slander. It's not slander if it's correct. You know, <laughs> don't don't be nasty. Don't be don't don't be nasty back to them. Fight fire with fact. That's yeah. why I always say. I mean, three or four years ago, we probably got we probably said some things we shouldn't have said and got and got got we were fighting fire with fire. But we've I think we we've, we've learned too that the way to fight these trolls and to fight these rip off merchants is to, is to you know out talk them. You know, yeah. Basically, give them hard cold hard cold hard fact. You can't do this. You owe this person money, no matter what they say, no matter what they tell their friends and their mates and everything. Yeah. They've the locations confirmed it. You have not paid the location. You cancel the event. Sort it out. Yeah, and I think that's what you do. You you do fight with facts. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. You mentioned the, the the dreaded word power unity. Then Paul, I did. All right, you brought it up, not me. <laughs> I know. Sorry about so, that. Do you, do you think the word power unity is sort of banded about just too willy nilly? I do. That doesn't mean I don't believe in the fact that we can all be part of a community. Yeah. And just people use power unity um, to, if it's some kind of badge of honour, you know. Yeah. And if it's <clears throat> if it's a power unity, it should encompass everybody, <clears throat> not just teams, uh, ten teams from from who are doing this event together. Um, you know, we all listen. We all have we all have feedback on power unity. We all some people love it, some people don't love it. Um, you know, I, I just think the word is a it's, it's a word that uh, you know doesn't. I, even though I've said it about five times tonight, I don't really <laughs> believe in it. I, I believe in working together. I believe in <clears throat> the people who are, who, who are our friends, who are colleagues, who are in the paranormal world. But I don't believe in in using the word to use it against. Oh, you know, you know, us six teams are doing this event together. That's power unity, that kind of thing. Those who don't believe in what we're doing, that's not power unity, that kind of thing. So I I like to think that we are part of a community of the paranormal and hopefully the good guys can all work together and all just be happy together. Even, even, you know, you know, you two go, I know how big the paranormal world is. There's people out there I've never spoken to who are doing a a bloody good job uh, in, in whatever they do. Um, and if they, if we connected, then then there's fair enough. And there's people out there who we don't want to work with, but you know, and that's why the word power unity, in my opinion, my humble, honest opinion, uh, doesn't exist. Yeah, well, that's what that's what we want, Paul. Your opinion. <laughs> and we we always give our opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people don't like us giving our opinion, but. No, well, not everybody will agree, but like we always say, your opinion is based on the experiences that you've. It is, it is, but yeah, it is. Uh, and, you know, and you can have, and ninety nine percent of the panel world, it is it, fine, but there's a one percent, there's a real undercurrent of nastiness, yeah. and there's things out there that uh, you know are told, we're told by teams and by individuals that are absolutely horrible. You know, yeah. the ex team members falling out and saying this, that, and the other, and and it's like, well, you know, it, it may be true, it may not be true, but you know, if you've split up with whatever, then you've split up. Don't have that. Don't have it like a, a yeah. secret against them. That if it's done, it's done. <clears throat> you yeah. know, well, we can all go. we can all work together, and we can all yeah. not work together, but we can all still be happy, love doing what we're doing. Yeah. Um, and whilst there's, there are people out there who are ripping people off and sucking people in uh, to uh, spend money with them and not paying them back or not running the event. I, I don't see how power unity can exist as a whole. Yeah, that's right. Okay, then, let's, let's talk about Haunted Live now, then, Paul. Mm. So how long has Haunted Live been going on for? Oh, about five foot ten. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, five, four or five years, I think. Um, well, it's, I think, yeah, about four or five years. The name... 
um, was born because um, Facebook Lives came into um, or live live uh, you, you could film live on Facebook and Twitter yeah. and Periscope, yeah. and we thought that you know we rather than just do events or just do the mag or just be part of a team mm. it would do live streams um yeah. and uh you know you know that you've, you've done many lives now you guys have yeah. and you can see how good and how uh, attractive and how popular they've become um we do one live a month at uh, we try to do one live a month at uh, various locations including you including you we've done east drive and uh, and uh, Robin Hood Legacy and, and that kind of location. We try we try different locations every month, and we just basically film. It's just us having a us on a ghost hunt, but people are watching it and being becoming our extra eyes and ears. Um, yeah. do, you, do you think that the, uh, these lives are a success? Do you think they? Because some there's quite a few people don't like live feeds. Yeah, and some people are dead set against it. And um, do you, would you go back away from the lives? No, I don't think I would go back. <clears throat> um, and, and I speak from um, you know from the heart as, as an individual who loves um, loves the paranormal. I've it's got it's got us into lots of locations that we might not have got into. Um, it's got us um, um, it's spread um, the awareness of haunted life to many people ac- across the world, but it's also got people we don't know interacting with us and saying they heard what we heard or they yeah. they heard the knocks they heard the footsteps they heard they saw the shadows so it's not just what we see i mean we could go to an event or to a to a private investigation or just four or five of us and we can see shadows and we can hear knocks but when we come back out of that event and we report it on facebook you've just got five people's opinions you yeah. know when we yeah on a live um like the more furnace with the best the best evidence uh, yeah. you've now got to <clears throat> four thousand people seeing that yeah so it's making more people think mm, you know is there something out there yeah you're gonna people say oh it's fake but it's live we can't fake anything people think oh, it's somebody but it's, it's the beauty of it is it's there's no script You've watched this, this, there's definitely no script. You've seen us, um, <laughs> you know, it's raw, it's unedited. Um, and, and for about two and a half hours, we just have a good time investigating the paranormal. I understand why people don't like lives. And again, that's, that's their beliefs and that's the, that's what they want to believe in. But I love it and, and long may they continue. I, I, I would sooner watch a live feed yeah, than I would a recorded one. Because yeah. you can't fake it. Yeah, and I've done that before when I've been, you know, when when you guys <clears> do <throat> the Prism um, nightclub. Yes. I sat there watching it all night on my own, and I could have quite easily turned the telly on and just watched a film. But it was far more interesting for me to watch you guys live than to so see. You, so <laughs> you you were the one viewer, were you, Jane? <laughs> yeah. You were the one yeah, viewer. Thank you very that. much. <laughs> no, but you're right though. I mean, we loved it. We obviously. Because we're in front of the camera, sometimes we miss things. Sometimes we're talking and people have got headphones on and they can hear things that we can't hear. Yeah. Um, and the beauty of a live is, especially on Facebook, on television, it's 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 been and gone. But on on Facebook, it's it's on your page forever. That's right. And also, people can watch it time and time again. And also, Andy can edit it down into a a forty five minute hour show. For, yeah. for video space or for something else. So, and this is the beauty of Moira yeah. because the Moira apparition, um, we didn't see that when we were doing a live. We and Jason saw a, a flashing white light, and he said on camera, "Andy, when you get to edit this footage, mm-hmm. have a look at, at that flashing white light." So we did the live two and a half hours roughly. Um, Andy went back to edit um, the footage, and lo and behold we catch something else that none of us saw um, during the actual live. And, you know, it's, it's now up for best evidence in a, an Higgy Pop. So um, it just shows you that how good the lives can be. Yeah. Did it send a bit of a shiver down his spine knowing it was sort of there, but you couldn't sort of see it at the time? You know what? It did because we were all looking in the same place. We were all, the, obviously, the camera was focused on, on a, a certain point. <coughs> we were all looking behind the camera. 
um, JP was in front to the side, but we were all looking, um, and um, we and Jason saw the white light, the white flash, uh, and then when and a few days later, Andy was like O M F G on the chat. Yeah. Uh, what what and then it's like have a look at this guys and we were like well gobsmacked because it, you know the beauty of um of if i say if i say to you look at this piece look at this ghost walking across the wall that's what you want to see but andy said andy said nothing he said look see what you see yeah. so we all watched it individually and uh, you know as true as i am i'm sat here there is something there uh, and if people want to watch it it's on our on our facebook page um, but uh, there is something there that is clear to me um, as, as anything I've seen before on on a, on a, on footage. To be fair, yeah, yeah, it's it's a really good capture. Yeah, it is. And I, and I just I believe I think it's it's even better that you didn't see it on the night. Probably yeah. because yeah. if if we'd have saw it on the night, we'd have been screaming like girls. To be honest, so. You right. know, so uh, but no, but you're right though. I know what you mean because it just shows been a bit that, you know it pro- <laughs> It shows you that if there is something there, they're being very clever, aren't they? And and they're trying to have a look at us when maybe we're not uh, maybe not seeing things. Yeah, yeah I get. I, but I one think... of the things I always think about with that sort of thing: how many times, it, you know, is the paranormal activity around us like that all the time, and we just don't see it? Exactly. You know, can you remember the old saying: if a, if a tree falls down in a forest and nobody's there, does it make a sound? Um, yeah. It's the old adage, isn't it? You know, um, well, we've we've been, we've done events and we've done lives where there's been very little activity. But how many things without without editing it back and watching it back? How many things have we missed? How yeah. many things have we not seen? You know, uh, or you or... just necessarily haven't got the equipment to exactly. Capture- yeah. What was there? Because I, I still firmly believe that we will, at some point, be able to capture real evidence. I just don't believe that we've got sort of the tech. I don't think the technology is advanced enough yet to sort of to to capture the evidence that people want in order to say, um, yeah, actually, ghosts exist. You know what? Sometimes you you bang on, Jane, but also. Let's. I, I sometimes flipped it uh, on its side, and we've talked about this on to live. Is our gadgets becoming too advanced? Are they looking for something really out there, like you know, like your EVPs? And we use EVPs, and we've caught some good stuff. But we've had a device from Andy, um, Andy Bailey, infrared. Uh, yeah. We've been working with a, a device that's that's uh, that's um, works on the theory of like a Sony Walkman type of of, of recording, not mm-hmm. not high. Not high specific, high, high, whatever EDPs are thing, but it's and it's picked up a lot of stuff that we haven't heard. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so maybe, and I know what you say now. You know, are, are we are we not there yet? But are we going too far? Some some might say. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose it depends <clears throat> on what sort of evidence <clears throat> you want mm-hmm. in order to make you believe. You know, the the the, the, the general census out there, isn't it? Is that Ghosts don't exist because nobody's ever shown us any evidence, mm-hmm. you know, that sort of thing. There's mm-hmm. no evidence to say that they do exist. I do believe that we have lots, you know, all these paranormal teams. Some people like yourselves have captured some fantastic stuff, but you put it out there and people aren't necessarily yeah. going to believe that it's evidence. We right. all know yeah. Yeah. And yet people of a night, millions of people go to bed and pray every night to God. Yeah. You know, so we can have the religion okay, <clears throat> all the time, but it just shows you that we, you know, whatever you believe, I believe there's something there. Uh, and people always said to me, "Oh, the more you ghost on, the less you believe." I'm, I'm the opposite. The more I ghost on, the more I'm believing. Yeah. You know, at your place with the mirror and and the table and everything, and you know, I, I trust my life with the people I work with, and those yeah. things didn't move. They those things moved of their own accord. Nobody touched them. Nobody. Um, um, uh, add some kind of um, moved them on purpose. The, the table moved. Yeah. yeah. And you can. I always think you can always tell when it's a fantastic piece of evidence because you can show it to anybody, everybody, all the experts, or you know whatever in that field, and people cannot explain it. Yeah. You know, like our blue face video. We yeah. even sent that to um, Fleur people. Yeah. And nobody could explain it. 
Mm-hmm. And nobody's been able to explain that since. Yeah. Now, you they'll know, try. That- I mean, they'll try. I mean, um, a lot of people have their opinion, and, and we stress that opinion is a good word. Yeah. That's what it should be. It's not, oh, I've been doing this for 40 years, man and boy. I know yeah. more about yeah. you than paranormal than anything. It's not about that, you know. <clears throat> You have to be there, you know. People, people post pictures on on Facebook and and they're just ridiculed, and it's so wrong because yeah, yeah. The, the the people who say oh Photoshop or or, or paradoily, it might be those, but this person spent their time and they're probably angst about do I yeah. share it on Facebook? Do I share it on Facebook? And they're asking for questions, and a lot of time they get back rubbish from people who weren't there, don't know what time of day it was, don't know what camera it was, don't know this, that, and the other. And just yeah. shoot and just shoot the picture down without any kind of um, investig and, it, and, it, and if they are so called investigators, why aren't they investigating the person who uh, yeah. speaking to the pe- person who put the fo- the post up? Yeah. yeah, I remember the you remember long long time ago. You caught the up this up the centre. You caught the the clown moving. Oh yes, that was one of her very first events, or uh, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, can you remember that? And, I remember uh, that. It was Jason who caught. Well, yeah. Jason. Yeah. Well, you, you were actually. I think you messaged me and said you're nervous about putting it out there. We were nervous about putting it out because we knew what we we knew what to expect. Because obviously, it was at the time eighteen months ago when when it was just people would saying, "Oh, rubbish, this rubbish, that." Uh, yeah. We weren't going to put it out, but we thought, you know what, let's. Let's bite the bullet. Let's ask for opinion, and let's ask for opinion. We got a few people back saying, "Oh, it's fake and that kind of thing." Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, the footage is amazing. I mean, the beauty of it is, is that um, the footage that we thought we caught, Jason's big head, um, <laughs> uh, big head, uh, hid, hid the clown moving. But when he walked back, the clown moved back. Moved so again. It was like what we thought we saw. Jason's bonds was in the way, but. <laughs> It moved back a second time, so you know it was um, it was really good footage, and you know we've had some great nights at your place as we have other locations. But yeah. you know, so I think, I think sometimes though people questioning it isn't always such a bad thing because I think if you have got a good piece of evidence, it does make you look at it and look at it, and you then have to sort of. I mean, I know when our big mirror tipped up and smashed. We Mm -hmm. all came in the next night and we tried, before we put it out there, we tried everything possible to recreate that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. We, we, you know, we didn't want to release anything if there was the slightest doubt that that wasn't, uh, well. Interesting. Yeah. (laughs) Questions, you know, the question is fine. Ridicule is is, is another thing, you know. Um, if if we are so called investigators, if we are so called wanting to find out the truth, then you be polite. You ask, when was it? What time of day? How are you feeling? Did anything happen on the night? Or, uh, you know, what's the history of the building? That kind of thing. Um, you know, you don't just automatically say, oh, it's rubbish. It's got a, I can see, uh, it's an IR flare lens. Blah 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 blah. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. It's it's just you know these people who say there are. Experts and investigators just aren't worth the, aren't worth talking to if that's if that's what they do. That's right. I've got I've got a comment by um, a Mr. Saw. I think oh, okay. Have, um, absolutely no point in faking stuff. We are capturing decent evidence. It may not be proof of the paranormal, but it can be compelling, and that is very right. Isn't yes, it? It, and, is. it is, and it's very true. You know, you've been doing this quite a while now, Paul. And um, do you think you and your guys? Are getting more sensitive. Well, we're getting older. That's definite. <laughs> that's definite. Um, and uh, now, now um, you, you mentioned um, that we're, we're a fifth. I was one fifth. J, JP has obviously left Haunted Live to work on other projects. So we're now I'm now one fourth of oh. Haunted Live. But yes, well, you know, wishing well. Um, you know, it's um, it's uh, you know, we always say that we're mates, and you know, you should, you should always. If people want to do other things, you should also always encompass that and everything. Yeah. But in answer to your question, um, what was the question again? Sorry. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think you're becoming more sensitive? Oh. To the well, I can tell you for a start, Andy definitely is. I can tell you for a start, Jason definitely is. Yeah. So Simon and myself, probably yes, but not so much. But Andy and JW definitely. You yeah. remember the first time Jason walked into your yeah. place? And every time he walks in, he gets the goosebumps and he gets 
he gets everything. But Andy recently, um, yeah, he's developing something. Uh, you know, he's um, it's weird, and it, and it's good to grow as a team because I think if we all stay, if we all stay the same in yeah. either believing or not believing, then we think, well, why are we doing this? Is it just for the location or? You know, are we are we opening doors in our head? Are we are we learning more skills? Are, are we are we picking up tricks? How to how to read things more? But yeah, I, I think we're all learning, we're all developing. But I think uh, Andy and JW are definitely developing a lot more than 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 than, than me and Sai. But they yeah. are. I think I, I agree with you there. That I think them pair definitely are. Yeah. Um, but I think you are as well, Paul. Because remember a few months ago, yeah, you, I did. Mess- I- you messaged me says. I need to get in your place this week now. Have you got a free night? Yeah, it was it was the it was a Tuesday, and I woke up Tuesday morning and I woke up and normally on my mind it's Weetabix, but I, on my mind I had <laughs> your place on my mind, and I'm like, why am I thinking about it? And all day I thought I've got to get there, I've got to get back there, and I said to guys, look, if if Neil's got a free um, a free day, are we up for going? So we all we all said yeah. So I messaged you, and it was a day after. So. Yeah. Um, and I just felt compelled to be in the seance room and in that mirror towards the mirror. And yeah. I put my hand on the mirror, uh, and, and I don't know, I can't remember a lot, a lot of it's a blur to be fair, but Andy and, and the guys said that I was looking in the mirror, but what was looking back at them wasn't me. Um, and if I was looking in the mirror, my eyes should have been looking back at me, but apparently yeah. my eyes were looking at them. <clears throat> um, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I obviously, I didn't see that. But I just thought all I could think of was was the word king, K I N G. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's what. But what a way. Yeah. So you're right. So probably that night, that day, I probably did have some kind of message to to say or or to bring back. But yeah, it's it's an odd one. It's a very odd one. But yeah. but I th- you know this is what we thrive for. This is what we live for. Yeah. It was it was an odd night, and and Andy said that was a crazy night. And that night, I remember I, I was watching it and it, it did it did seem to be all focused around you paul it did to be fair I it think did. Your, your, your name came out as it well did. yes on alice and on, i think on a few evp uh on, on the portal type thing and the spirit boxes yeah it did um but yeah so maybe it was maybe 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 it had to be there maybe we had to be there to to, to pick up the name king or something or maybe it was part of my learning curve you know it's but what a night! It was a great night, and uh, yeah, cracking me. I'm, I'm smiling about it now. But uh, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it was. You know, I think Andy drew a picture of what he saw me in the back, and I, it was me, but with no eyes, which is which is quite spooky. Yeah, well, so, Andy, Andy just made a comment. Paul's face and shape changed: thinner, a tad taller, and piercing dark black eyes looking directly at us. Oh, to be thinner and taller. Oh, to be thinner and taller. <laughs> Oh, yes. Well, that's probably just wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got a question for you from Jen. Jen says, Paul, what would you recommend to someone wanting to do an investigation? Any tips or advice? Oh, crikey me. Um, yeah, open mind. Um, don't believe what you've heard or read about the location that you're going to. Don't believe the negative. Don't believe um, even the positive even. Just go... With people, I don't know if you do it solo, Jen, or you're with a team, or it's a company, but go with friends, um, you know. Um, but I think the key is open, open-mindedness. Yeah. You know, uh, don't if you, if you're a believer, still have that that doubt in your head. But if you're a non-believer, just open your mind a bit more because we've had people on events and guys and who have, who have been probably been brought along by the missus. Mm-hmm. They've come away. They've come away thinking, mm, wow. That was weird, and they've been, you know, they've. So, you know, I think in the past, in, in the years gone past, men were dragged by by uh, the yeah. to, to uh, chauffeurs and event, to, you know, to the events. But now more men are coming to yeah. events, and uh, which is a good thing. Uh, we get uh, at your location if there's six if there's six guests, there's normally four women, two men, roughly yeah. on average, and 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 they are seeing things and they are hearing things and they are bringing gadgets and they're, and they're getting involved. But uh, as I go back to Jen, I'd say be open-minded, have a good time um, and, uh, and enjoy. That's the biggest thing. Enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. We're all finding more men coming to the seances, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's just changing. 
OK, Paul Rook says, I do agree, the centre does have a pull. I love it and have been loads of times so far. Yeah, Paul Rook's been quite a few times recently. Yeah. Which is nice. Uh, yeah. Richard, Richard Clement says, the centre certainly does seem to have that effect on people. This is the, the second time I've heard of something like this happening. Um, there's quite a few comments coming through. Andy says, Paul, are there definitely something about that place? I mean... Oh. We, I was speaking to your place to somebody the other day, and I said the beauty of it is is that um, a you never say that every item's haunted. B um, it's it moves around. You you bring new objects into it. You move the locations around. So it's not like going to a a castle where everything is the same uh, week in week out that kind of thing. So uh, yeah. and C there there is something about the building as well. I think as well. Uh, yeah. It's not just the, the you know what the contents and the antiques are great in the military and the, the Victoriana and everything, but there is something um, about the building that I think is growing. I don't know if you guys think that as well because you're there a lot more than us. I think for, I think for us it's more the site. Mm -hmm. You know, we know this building's been here over hundred years, but before that there was a timber frame building, and with it being on the edge of Hinkley Marketplace. We know that there's been something here on this site probably for about 600 years. Brilliant. The market's been going since 1311, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And the town's been active since 1150. So this, with it being on the edge of the marketplace, there's always been a building here for sort of 600 years. So you've got lots of layers of people who have lived and died and worked on this site over those centuries. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay, Jen says, I was with a small team. I'm a believer in the spiritual mediumship side. Um, and she's uh, as a sensitive. So, yeah. Well, Have you know what? I mean, we uh, that's great, Jen. Uh, we've had people who who um, have been to events and, and watched us and they, were, they aren't mediums or they weren't, but they've now developed uh, yeah. that side to them because of maybe their beliefs or whatever. But, you know, and I, I always think that we've got lots of doors in our head, lots of locked doors. One by one or two by two, they sometimes open and, and we see a bit more um, out there. But um, yeah, it's um, you know I just just enjoy it and go go you know. But if you see something, but nobody else does, don't be you you saw it. Don't 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 think oh it, it's just me. If you saw it but they didn't, I can I, I would say Jen that you probably saw it. So. Yeah, I, that, that's what we say to people. Yes. The panel and, and say personal. that you've seen it because once you said that you've seen it and you get that link, chances are that you'll get more activity from it. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm. Okay, Pamela says, go with people you trust totally, Jed. Works perfectly for myself and sister. Um, Andy says, hi, Jen. I was always massively sceptical until things changed recently. Much more open now. <laughs> Is that Andy Saw again, by any yeah, chance? Andy Saw, yes. Mm -hmm. um, Pamela says, love the centre, the Spooky Sisters UK. Need to return soon, as soon as we can manage. Um, Andy says, yeah, that would be good, Pam, because it's different every time. Well, you you guys know how things change a bit, don't you, Paul? Because you come quite regularly. We do. We have, we have events there, we come quite regularly. And even though we come regularly... It changes so much, you know what I mean? Um, and, and also, I think at the start, the main room was probably the activity, with the highest activity, but even that's changed. I, I feel it's more, for me, it's more the courtroom and the yeah. sounds room, which are getting a bit more of a, a, bit more of a buzz. Um, yeah. But that's not saying that the, the main room has not got it. It still has, you know. Um, and we were there a, a few months back and, and you know what, the, the old-fashioned bagging on pipes is, is common knowledge, a most haunted type thing, but we had uh, different taps and, and responses to taps, uh, to questions via taps, like knock twice for this, and it, it knocked twice. So if we're getting clever and more intelligent, maybe they're getting, maybe what's behind that veil are getting yeah. cleverer too. Who knows? Who knows? It's, it's a fascinating subject. It is. It is. So, okay, Paul, we've just got about six minutes left. Um, tell everybody how they can find... Oh, we've got to mention Bosworth Hall, haven't we? Oh, yeah. You guys have got exclusive ghost nights at Bosworth Hall, which is near Hinkley in Leicestershire. How, how are those nights going? Very good. We love the place. Um, we've done... We just did our third Halloween there. 
uh, a few nights back and uh, and we've done about nine maybe eight or nine events there now um and the beauty of the place is the fact that it's it's even though it's a living breathing working hotel it's it's it seems to have lost none of its uh, character and driving up the up the up the path to it yeah. it's just an amazing view and you get that you get that sense of history and mystery and drama straight away um i mean we had nine guests on halloween um and um you know we lo- we love whether it's 9 or 29 we'll we'll run an event but it, a lot of things happen we've got some different rooms um and um it's <laughs> without, without reading too much into it the Bosworth Hall has, has been a, 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 a hotel now a hospital um, it's been a manor house for 400, 500 years there's been death, murder uh, betrayal um, it's next door to Battle of Bosworth Battlefield so there's lots of history uh, in interior and exterior to be fair um, it's just one of those places that it looks good on the eye and if there's something there, it's trying its best to to um, to come through. And because it is a living, breathing, working hotel, when we're not there, we're getting stories about the night porter on his second shift was taking stuff back to the kitchen. He turned round, saw the grey lady, apparently, <coughs> and never came back for his third shift. So, <laughs> you know, so some of the guests have moaned about TV being turning on. So it's not just our stories or what we tell people. It's it's the people who have paid to go and sleep there as well. Yeah. What I like about your nights at Bosworth I know we go quite often. Yeah. And um, you never quite know what rooms you're going to get. <laughs> well, this is what we said on, on Halloween because, let's, it's because it is a living hotel. They can't shut their... Uh, sale book until like four o'clock five o'clock or somebody may say um can i stop for the night so it, to them it's business so we yeah. only get told about half oh, past five five o'clock what what rooms we've got and what suites we've got so we're basically walking in blind i mean yeah. there might be a wedding there might be a pub singer um in, in the pub so we have to deal with all that energy and all that noise uh pollution sometimes but to be fair we have some good rooms on 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 uh last Thursday, um, and uh, lots of uh, noises and lots of different messages coming through. And we've got some rooms in the towers. Um, I know 216 is notoriously the bad room, yeah. but we had 215, the one next to it, and that proved to be um, very interesting, uh, as Polly and Andy will surely agree on, on the chat. Yeah. Yeah, I did hear that there was a bit of a rumour, that there was a bit of a conspiracy to get Jason in room two one six after the uh, book launch. Is that, that right? This, this was the book launch. Yeah, two week two weeks back. Um, well, I said to Ruth, who who manages markets the uh, thing, can we have some? If possible, can we have some haunted rooms for the guests? Yeah. Uh, and um, so, so so she said yes. You see what she can do. So she put people in two one six and two one eight. Um, Jason turned up and uh, said, oh, I think you've got a room for me. Uh, and asked what my name is, and he said Jason Wall, and he said that if I'm in two one six, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> so she just laughed at him, and uh, I got a text uh, saying, <laughs> "You bleep bleep bleep." So <laughs> he, th- he thinks it was me that put him there, but he's found out later that it was Ruth. So it was listen, it's your fault. But no, um, but apparently, and also here's a fact that should be known by millions whoever's watching or listening. Um, um, Jason slept fully clothed in room two one six because, in case he wants to make a quick getaway, so <laughs> they are. I'll tell the world. Breaking news. Oh, good. good one. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple of minutes left, Paul. Okay, mm-hmm. to all the listeners um, on this, we're going to mention Higgy Pop Awards again. Yes, and please, we appreciate your votes. And um, Paul has got quite a few nominations. For Haunted Live and the Haunted Magazine, and give them the fo- the vote. And of course, Parasearch Radio has got a nomination. Yeah. So please give Parasearch Radio the vote, and please vote for us in the Paranormal Hotspot. Yeah. So to all the listeners out there, if you've not yet voted, get online and do your votes because it all makes a difference. Yeah. So yeah, it is. It's nice. It's nice. Just think, without Parasearch Radio doing this, we wouldn't be talking, would we? So you know. So. Um, you know, it was um, yeah, it's good. It's good. People say it's entertainment, but this is what we're in. This is the paranormal. This is the uh, 
it's a business. It's, it doesn't, doesn't have to be fake to be a business. We can enjoy it um, and, and entertain people who, who want to uh, enjoy the paranormal world as much as, as much as I do. That's right. Okay, so we've got to go now. It's nearly nine o'clock. So I'm going to say thanks to Paul Stevenson for being our last minute guest. Yeah, sloppy seconds. Cool. Sloppy seconds. I'm going to start putting you in sloppy seconds now. <laughs> <laughs> but there's there's one thing I will add about Paul Stevenson though. If you go on an event with Haunted Live, don't get Paul to make the teas <laughs> or tell the joke. <laughs> oh, I'll never live that down, will I? Never ever. Yeah, you'll never live that one down. I shall always remember. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so thanks, Paul, for joining us. Thanks, yeah, thank you for inviting me. It's always a good chat to you. And I'll are you up here tomorrow? Um, I, I need to see um, who it is. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm polished possibly. And we've got one tomorrow and one end of November, uh, one in December. Um, and I think, um, we have, I think the last one in December we'll, might have a Christmas Christmas themed party, I think. That sounds that sounds good. And yes. So, of course, I'll quick mention, Hunter Live do have exclusive uh, venues up here with guests yes, every other week. So, and we are going to carry that on as well, aren't we, Paul? We are indeed, yeah. We've got some dates for 2020. We'll sort them out soon. Uh, and uh, you know, Neil, we've loved the place since since you began it. Yeah. And I fell in love with it from, from the beginning. And uh, it's cool. just amazing. A special place. And thank you for uh, bringing it to us, buddy. Okay, mate. So we've got to, we're running over. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. We'll see Take you soon. Care. Thanks, Jane, for being the co-host. No problem. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next week. All right. Good night. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to join us for more shows throughout the week. Find us on Facebook, Twitter and the World Wide Web to keep up to date with all the shows right here on Parasearch Radio.